He did it all for you. How do you get eternal life? Not by doing good. Not by going to church. Not by promising to be perfect. Not by giving a lot of money to help the poor. He says one thing. You believe that Jesus can raise you back from the dead too. You trust him as your savior. He is the source of hope. Now let me just summarize this. You're never going to find ultimate hope in anything you can lose. If you want to have a hope that gets you through the toughest times of life, you must put your hope and put your trust in something that cannot be taken from you. If you put your hope in your bank account, you can lose your bank account. If you put your hope in your spouse, you can lose your spouse. If you put your hope in your health, you can lose your health. You can lose your mind. You can. You must never put your hope in something that you could lose. If you put your hope in your good looks, you've already lost them. <laughs> oh, that that ship sailed, friend. I'm sorry. If you put your hope in your job, it's going to let you down. If you put your hope in another person, they will disappoint you. Why? Because they're not God. You know, I when I used to do marriage counseling, I discovered that one of the biggest problems for marriage problems is we expect our spouses to meet needs in our life that only God could meet. Nobody could possibly meet all your emotional, physical, spiritual needs. And you can't meet anybody else's total physical, spiritual, emotional needs. Only God can do that. And if you expect your spouse to meet all your needs, you're treating them like God. It's not only unfair to them, it's going to be frustrating and disappointing to you because it's not going to happen. You have to put your hope in something or someone that can never be taken away from you. And there's only one thing, because you can lose everything else in life, and that is your relationship to God. And your relationship to God. What I'm saying this Easter is that hope is not a principle. Hope is not a product. Hope is not a program. Hope is not a pill. I get this pill, then I'll have all the hope I need. Hope is a person. And there's only one person that you can put that hope in, Jesus Christ. He is the hope of the world. That's why it's split into A.D. and B.C. That's why your birthday is dated according to this event. You need to get to know Jesus. And since Jesus raised himself from the dead, we know that there's life after death. Here's what we have. Look at the next verse. 1 Peter 1. Now... We live with a wonderful expectation because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. So we know death's not the end. For God has reserved a priceless inheritance for his children. That's you who've trusted in him. It is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. 